Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the east of England into your homes, onto your phones and whatever platform you're using. Um, as you probably know, if you've been here before, I tend to just find news items that will inform my subscribers about changes, what's happening, and I give my opinion on it. Now today I decided to talk about um, the £100,000 that they're planning to spend on landlords. I think it's about putting landlords under scrutiny, private rental landlords, of course. Um, and what they're hoping, well, when I say they, this is the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government are spending £100,000. And it could be to root out unscrupul unscrupulous landlords um, in a feasibility study to investigate the setting up of a national landlord database. Now, that's going to be similar to the BACP, which is the British Association of Counselors and Psychotherapists, or Trust the Trader. You know, what they're saying is that tenants should know something about the landlord, which I perfectly agree. At the moment, it's a one-way street. The landlord has the power, the landlord has the room, and so therefore, the tenants are at the mercy of the landlord in that sense, in the sense that they do not know anything about the landlord, whether their landlord is legit, whether the landlord is respectable, whether the landlord is not going to come and accost them and get violent. And similarly, the landlord wants to know that the tenant that they are accepting is respectable, has a job, is going to be reliable and trustworthy. So what this database, I believe, is going to be like is like trusted traders. I don't believe that in the future when it's in force, that you'll be able to rent without being on this database. It's just about everybody being under scrutiny, really. Knowing who is who, what they're doing, how they're doing it. That is what this is ultimately about. Like they've been calling it for ages, it's a nanny state. None of us are going to be able to do anything without it being recorded. And that is where we are now. So. Landlords, landlords are going to be, <clears throat> um, let me just read this. Um, well, we have some landlords who, because of hard times, are taking advantage of the buy-to-let mortgage, which is much lower than a regular mortgage. And when they're doing that, they're not obeying the law and they could be rooted out. You've also got landlords that are increasing rent. They're not reporting it with regard to their taxes. And so they'll be rooted out. There's going to be, it's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be laid out in that way. But I do believe that the questions that you'll have to submit and respond to will put you in a situation that you need to be kosher if you're renting out a room. And that should be the case. I'm not disputing that. I'm just alerting any landlords who are out there who may not be above board and who may have this little thing as a sideline, they better be careful because when this land, when this database comes into force, you're going to need to be on it and you're going to need to be responsible and you're going to have to make sure that you adhere to all the legislations and everything like that. So, um, They've got companies, okay, what I wrote down was companies or individuals, and this is taken from Landlord today, um, companies or individuals who are seeking to secure 100,000 have until this Friday, which is the 16th of July, to respond to M for mother, H for hotel, C for Charlie, L for Lima, G for Golf, MHCLG Tender, which sets out the issue with this statement. So if you go on Google, put in MHCLG Tender, it'll give you all the information you need. And the issue with this statement is, in quotes, central government and local authorities have limited information on the 2.3 landlords who own 
the 4.4 million private rental sector properties in England. This inhibits effective enforcement of private sector property standards and the development of informed policy intervention. So basically, what they're saying is the gap is closing. Anybody who's been trying to do something under the radar or try to get away from the radar, they're now going to be under the radar. And they need to be able to enforce um, property standards and all that kind of stuff. So private and further in quotes, private tenants currently have limited ways to check information about their landlord prior to signing a tenancy agreement. And that's like what I was saying before. The landlord has the power and the tenant also has an element of power. And I'm just talking about with regard to credibility of each individual, both the landlord and the tenant. Because when you're thinking about landlords, they too need to know that that tenant that they are taking on is responsible, is going to pay their rent on time, is not going to damage their property. So they need to know that that individual has a good reputation from past landlords or, you know, normally they can tell by a stable job. I wouldn't trust um, the fact that somebody who turns up at my door for a room just because they're wearing a suit, that they're respectable. We all know that when you're, you go to a court case, even if it's for murder, they tell you to wear a suit and a tie because it makes you look respectable. It doesn't mean that you are. So it's about engaging, properly engaging with your landlord and landlords engaging with the tenants, asking questions, have a conversation, make it light. Too many times when landlords and tenants develop an initial relationship, it's very formal. It's just about, oh, how much is the room? Is there any schools around here? Where's the nearest bus stop? That kind of thing. You know, is there parking? They don't get to know the person that they are going to be in a contract with for the next six months to a year. And they need to sit down and have a friendly conversation, but a conversation that is designed to elicit certain information that will allow you to know how long each of you have been in business, whether the landlord's been a landlord for 30, 40 years, or whether he's a relatively or she's a relatively new landlord. And also, how long did your tenant stay at the last property? Why did they leave the last property? Those kind of questions. What does the tenant do in their spare time? What does the landlord do in their spare time? Get Build up a kind of a character reference based on, com based on conversation, asking questions. Don't take nothing for granted. Just because it's a business transaction doesn't mean that you cannot find out certain information that's going to help you feel at ease that you've made a right decision in either taking an apartment or securing a tenant. So, um, like I said, private tenants company have limited ways to check information about their landlord um, before signing a tenancy agreement. There's a range of different and complex requirements that private landlords must meet to let the property. And this is what they probably need to do and to show when they get on the database. It, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be something like, you put your name on the date, the, the addresses of the properties that you're renting, submit the um, smoke alarm certificate, carbon monoxide detector certificate, gas safety certificates, um, portable appliance testing of electrical devices, those certificates. Um, I'm not quite sure how you'll show that you're complying with housing's health and safety rating system, but there will be something, and I'm sure you'll probably have to upload them annually or how often they've got to be renewed to make sure that you are following regulations. It'll probably be a database made like that. So, um, what else is there? I think that is all I've really got to say. Like I said, it does say companies or individuals seeking to secure 100,000 have until this Friday to respond to an MHCLG tender. So I don't know who that applies to. And I'm not really going to go into that. But I've given you the basic information that the majority of you will need. 
and I hope you find it useful. That's all for now. Bye-bye.